In this tutorial for new Blender users, I'll show you how to take advantage of all the different layers within Blender, and it'll really help your uh, work go easier like that. So, for instance, um, I might have a bunch of objects in the scene, and sometimes I want to select one, and simply by, say, for instance, maybe I want to select both of these objects, and I'll press A, turn them all off, I'll press B to box select, I'll highlight around this cone in this icosphere like that, and already I've selected the plane and the lights and everything else because I have these lines from the spotlights going through there. It's like, okay, well I can tell you when you start getting a lot, lot of objects in the scene, it's hard to avoid, you know, all these other objects. So you might come into here like this, I'll turn them all off and well, I could box select like this and then maybe I just get those two. Oh, nope, but I accidentally got a light like that. So you see therein lies the problem. So what I'll do in this case is I, I do this a lot. I might do it to control my rendering, my lighting, uh, different objects in the scene, and it's really simple. So here are your layers, and the orange tells you that this object that's selected is in that layer, all right? And if, for instance, if I click the cone and I press the M key, this box comes up. And so I come over here and I press 2, like that, and it puts it into the second layer, and then if I just, without clicking, I just move my mouse off of that location, then that little menu goes away. Well, you can see that it's still selected, but it's on the second layer, and I can't see it because I didn't have that layer selected. And But it's orange, so it lets me know that the object that's currently selected is in the second layer, like that. You can just barely see it's orange. But if I go back and re-click this one, now this is orange here, all right? So that's one thing that really helps. So if I hold down the Shift key, and I press the second layer at the same time with the left mouse button, then both objects are still now visible in the scene because both layers are selected like that. All right, so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll click this guy, I'm going to shift and click that guy, and I'll take my spotlights, and I'll press M, and I'll move them, say, up to layer 5. And they're no longer in the scene, so they're not casting the shadows. Like I see, if I want them back in there, I'll shift, and I press that in there, and there's the spotlights back in the scene so I can turn them on and off at will and then that really helps you might have a lot of objects in the scene other things you might want to render or not render and you just turn them off by having them in different layers and I recommend you get used to using this approach right from the get-go because it's really powerful way to help keep organized and more importantly or just as important if you're working with particle systems and animations and things like that it's important that you have different objects on different layers for different effects. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.